and welcome back to my channel. I look really bad because it's literally the day before my surgery and I wanted to do this video just in case you're having surgery too and want some ideas on what to pack. The hospital does give you a list so it's pretty straightforward but I just wanted to show you in like a visual terms of the things that I'm packing for my breast augmentation surgery. So I'm actually staying in overnight um, so it's not a day case so I am packing for an overnight trip. So let's get started. First things first, I am packing in a cabin bag um, with wheels because I know that after surgery I'm not going to be able to lift things so I'm having the wheels so that it's easier for me because I will be on my own because of obviously Covid at the moment and everything you can't have your chaperone come in with you to kind of help you out of the door out of the hospital when you discharge so I'm taking a cabin bag that has wheels to help me. I'm not going to do this in any order, I've literally just bundled everything out, it was all neatly packed a minute ago. I have my dressing gown which is freshly laundered, it's clean and I'm putting it straight into my suitcase. I also have my slippers which I have given a once over of Dettol and everything, um, like on the bottoms, not that it looks like it, but I've got my slippers so that I don't have cold feet. For post op, I have put everything inside like a ziplock or a press lock bag. They have asked for this for the post op, so it's all freshly laundered. Nothing's touched this since I put it in. What I have got is a set of pajamas that have a button going down the front, so front fastening. You could use something like a zip, or I've gone for these button ones. And also, I have my Macon bra, which is what my clinic advised me. I actually bought them with Maya. I'm going with Maya just in case anyone hasn't watched any previous videos. So my Macon bra is gonna is in there in its sealed original bag. Um, I also have some pants in there too. Some nice comfy pants to sleep in as well. For the day that I discharge, I also have another like bag, Ziploc bag, and I also have my second Macon bra, which I don't think I'm gonna need, but just in case like, I don't know, anything horrible happens and my stitches open or whatever, I get like liquid on it or I'm sick on myself or whatever, I've got a second Macon bra with me just in case. I also have socks and my discharge outfit, which is a zip up hoodie. I will have my Macon bra underneath, nothing else. I'm just gonna do the zip up hoodie and I've got some black comfy leggings because they're easy to pull up and some socks and obviously my pants. You are asked to bring like a plastic bag for the outfit that you travel in or that you arrive to the hospital in. I've just done another Ikea Ziploc bag because that's what I use at home. Um, I also have snacks. Um, it does say po like bring your favorite snacks if you're staying overnight and also if it's a day case you do get given food before you go home because they have to make sure you're feeling okay and all of that um, but I am bringing snacks because if you get hungry I've got a whole bag big bag of popcorn um, and then I've got some protein bars which are like the Nature Valley full mix this I've never tried this one but it's chewy blueberries so I've got that one and then I have a Trek protein flapjack because protein is really good for like your muscle um, healing muscles healing and things so I'm trying to stock up and I've been eating a lot of protein ahead of my surgery too so I've got two of those um, trek bars then I also have the naked bake or tart ones I don't know if you can see that I hope you can um, but I really really love those so that's my snack I literally didn't know what to pack for my snacks I was thinking I don't want anything like chili Doritos if I'm not feeling very well that's quite intense um, but I think I'll be okay with those I also have a little towel like a hand towel it doesn't say to pack this but I just thought you know in case I want to freshen up my armpits or my face or something I just just in case I've bought a towel with me I also have a book so something to keep me entertained mainly my entertainment is going to consist of my phone um if I'm honest everything I do is on my phone I'm not going to take my laptop or my iPad so I'm just going to have my phone so I've got some head earphones i really need to get some airpods but i've got some earphones i've also got my power bank thing my magsafe one that clicks on the back of the phone for you know just in case i can't reach i've watched a lot of videos and they said they can't reach the charger and it's they didn't feel very well when they got up and things like that so i've just got that for just in case i really can't reach the um charger i'm also going to pack my plug-in one but that's currently like in my plug ready to pack for tomorrow because surgery is tomorrow i also have my power bank so just in case um and the little wire that you know goes to your phone so i've got i've got options for my charging and my entertainment system i also am packing some toiletries so the reason i look really 
rubbish right now is because I'm not allowed to use products on my entire body that included like shampoo and I wash my hair every day so it feels a bit like odd um, but you're not allowed to wear products like moisturiser and deodorant and things like that like 24 hours I think it is before surgery. You also won't be able to wear deodorant and things for the week after surgery. I think it's obviously because you can't raise your arms and things. So I packed some toiletries. In my toiletries I do have my CeraVe, um, my my cellar water, my cellar cleaning water with some... Um, cotton pads just in case I want to freshen up my face. I've also got my lip balm, lip balm just in case like it has air conditioning or whatever and my lips get dry. I also have some hand cream. I don't normally use it very often but I just you know with all the germs and everything I'll probably be sanitizing quite a lot so I also have toothpaste which is a fresh one. Hubby's probably gonna kill me for opening a fresh one. We actually use electric toothbrushes at home, but I've got my like spare soft bristle brush. And I also have a hairband that is metal free. Um, I am gonna be trying to put my hair in braids tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, God, wish me luck with that, I never have my hair in braids. Um, but that is literally all the toiletries that I am bringing because I'm only staying there for one night. I definitely won't be feeling up to putting any makeup on. Um, so I'm not packing makeup, but obviously that's your own choice. And lastly, I am packing some like sanitary pads and tampons just in case. I'm not due on, but you never know what your body might decide to do in times of need. Um, so that is literally all I'm packing. I've still got to pack my tripod, which you're on, just in case I can't lift. I just thought that would be easier. I can just set it on the hospital table and have a chat with you all. Um, so I hope you do go and watch the video that I'm going to do about all my journey and my decisions and things. But if you're having surgery, I hope this video has helped you and I'll see you all again really soon.